Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about EFC 25 and what it can do in case the game is not opening slash launching on your Windows operating system. Today, EFC 25 was released and as always, in every year and in every version, users are reporting that the game sometimes doesn't launch. There are certain issues related to the anti-cheat that EA provides and so on. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things and a couple of steps that it can take in order to fix most of the issues that it can encounter when trying to open up EFC 25 or issues related with the anti-cheat. So watch this video if you're encountering any issues with launching the game or errors related to the anti-cheat. Most of these methods that I'm going to show you in this video should work and they worked for me before when I had this issue. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, Access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians which have been blocked in the past month and you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal 83% discount and four months free first of all two things that I recommend you to do straight away before doing any other steps is to update your Windows operating system and your graphics drivers so for example if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11 just make sure you have the latest version. On Windows 11, for example, you just need to open up the settings app, then go into Windows Update, and then click on Check for Updates. It is important that you have the latest update for Windows because Microsoft releases certain patches and certain updates that fix a few things that can maybe cause certain games or certain applications to not launch correctly. Next up, we're just going to open the NVIDIA app, or if you have the old GeForce Experience, you can open that as well. But in here, go to Drivers, and then make sure to select Game Ready Driver, and search for updates. As you can see, I have a new driver update that I can install. So I'm going to do that when I have the time, but it is important that you have the latest Windows version. And as I've said, the latest graphics card driver version, so we can get that out of the way because the graphics card driver is very, very important when launching EAFC 25. Now let's move on to some other steps. For example, there is a certain issue and a certain error that can appear related to secure boot. So whenever you're trying to open up EAFC 25, you're going to get an error that says secure boot is not enabled. This is an error specific to Windows 11. So if you're running Windows 10, things are really simple. You don't need to do anything complex. Just go to manage the properties and then open folder to open the official installation folder. And here search for the game, right click on it and then click on run as administrator. Running it as administrator should fix the secured boot issue on Windows 10. You can also go to properties, then compatibility and then select run this program as administrator, apply and okay. As I've said on Windows 11, things are a bit different and a bit more complex. But in the article below, you're going to have more info about how to enable secure boot on a Windows 11 machine. Having secure boot is really important because on Windows 11 for the EA anti G to run correctly, you're going to need to have secure boot enabled. So we're going to have in the article below all the necessary steps to enable secure boot on your Windows 11 machine. Now getting things out of the way, if for example, you've just purchased EFC 25 and you're trying to launch it and it doesn't work, simply restarting the EA app should do the trick. So just go here up top in the left side, exit, make sure to check in the system tray as well. So you don't have it opened and then open it up again using your search and a complete restart of the EA app should do the trick. And of course, additionally, you can also restart your computer after doing that to be sure that everything is completely refreshed. Moving on, as I've said, I've encountered this issue myself almost every year when playing EAFC and also FIFA. So one weird solution that I found for certain times when the game didn't open was to move the EA app to offline and then online again. Yet again, we're going to go into the left side here up top, click on go offline. Yes, sure and now we are offline and now the next step is to go online again click here again go online the app will connect back to the servers and we should be good to go the game should run properly now if we've done all the steps correctly additionally what you can do is to go to manage and then click on repair what repairing is going to do is basically going to check the game files as you can see we'll try to update and detect certain files that have been corrupted or maybe deleted accidentally i don't know it's going to repair the game fully this should also fix issues 
issues if maybe the game is not running because you've deleted some files or some files haven't been installed correctly. As you can see in this video, I have EAFC 25 purchased on the EA app, but if you have it on the Steam app, alternatively to the EA app, you can go and right click on the game and then in properties, and then you can go to updates, make sure you have selected always keep this game updated and on installed files, you can verify the integrity of game files. This is basically the alternative to the repair function that the EA app has. So as you can see here, verify that these games files are installed correctly, and then you can click on verify integrity of the game files. This is, as I've said, the alternative if you have the EAFC game purchased on Steam. If you ask me, I would recommend you to purchase EAFC on the EA app because it is better optimized there. But of course, if you've already purchased it on Steam, this is what it can do as an alternative to the repair function on the EA app. Now to fix a few issues related to opening up EAFC 24 and the anti-cheat is going to manage again, new properties and then open folder to go into the official folder where this is installed, go to installer in that folder and then go into the EA anti-cheat folder. Then double click on this. On user account control, you're going to have to click on yes. From the drop down here, you're going to have to select FC 25 if you have it here. In my case, I don't have it here. I'm not really sure if it's something connected to the anti-cheat not being installed right now or not installed yet on certain machines. But if you're encountering this, just select FC 25, click on repair, update, and you should be good to go. You can also click on uninstall all and then install all the anti-cheats again to fix this issue. So as I've said, unfortunately, there are a lot of errors that can occur, some related to the graphics card, some related to the anti-cheat, but some of these steps should definitely fix the issue. One other thing that you can do is to go into percentage program data percentage, then press enter, locate the EA desktop folder, and you can delete all the contents from this folder. Basically, these are the cached files, certain saves that you have on EAFC. So if you've played EAFC before, pay attention that deleting these files will also delete certain saves that you've got in your game. So pay attention to that, but this should most likely fix the issue because sometimes these files get corrupted, saves get corrupted, and they interfere with the game launching. Now, if you've tried everything and EAFC is still not working and still not opening, one last thing that you need to do is to go to manage and then uninstall and then completely reinstall EAFC 25. This should be the last thing that you need to do and hopefully this will fix the issue. But from what I've seen in previous years and from what I've played and what I've tested, these methods that I showed you in this video should do the trick. A few of these methods were also suggested by an official EA employee that provided certain fixes for certain issues. So feel free to try any of the methods presented in this video to fix your issue. Also, don't forget that in the article below, I'm going to have all the in-depth steps on how to do all the methods that I've showed you in this video and also the in-depth tutorials for how to enable secure boot on a Windows 11 machine. So I'm only hoping that this video was useful and you can now play EAFC 25 and all the methods that I've showed in this video should also work if you have EAFC 25 purchased on Steam. As you've saw in this video, I used the EA app, but the methods that I've showed you should also work on the Steam app. So if the video is useful and you've managed to fix EAFC 25, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.